my dad died at age 49 from um, lymphoma. There Hodgkin's lymphoma. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. Yeah. And a uh, wonderful dad. Yeah. And he... Uh, Is this when you were in, um, in England? But just before I went to England. Okay. And even back then, in 1975, the probable probability that it would go into remission for for what for Hodgkin's lymphoma was about 80 percent. Well, and my dad was a very healthy guy all his life, and so I happily went off to Oxford with the, the expectation that my dad would be fine. And it, once I was there for about six weeks, it was clear that he was in deep trouble, and so. The, um, the Rhodes Trust was just marvelous. After two minutes, he said, I'll send you home. Um, you need to go tomorrow. I'll talk to the, your tutors at Queens. We'll arrange to have the, the, uh, your room kept for you. You can come back next week, next month, next yeah. year, ten years from now. Um, just very lovely. Yeah. And so I went home and, uh, with my dad for his last two months before he died. And it just it was the most one of the happiest experiences of my life to take care of my dad. And uh, I, I, he worked for a department store in Salt Lake, CCMI. Yeah. And so I. Uh, Basically, as we were growing up, he always took us to work every Saturday <laughs> to help him uh, put the food on the shelves and stuff. So I, I knew his job pretty well. Yeah. So I kept it up for, well, well he couldn't do it. And that kept us on this getting salary and, and uh, Insurance. Oh, so you worked for him at this? Oh, wow. Yeah. And then um, I also uh, worked with him. He, he, uh, he gave me his life history. Most of these I heard before, you know, but we put it together into a, a biography of my dad, which has been a wonderful thing because. Yeah. Um, I've been able to, as, as my kids grew up, on Saturday, on Sunday morning, I'd say, okay, guys, now you need to read pages 20 to 30 in Grandpa's biography, and then let's talk about what it means for us. You know. So, um, was he a Salt Lake City native, or was he a, an immigrant? From uh, no, he was raised in the Richfield in the center part of the state. Okay. His dad was a uh, farmer. Was he also tall? My, yeah. my yeah, grandpa was average, but my dad was six nine. He's taller than me, which for his generation was huge. That's huge yeah. um, anyway, so I feel like my kids got to know him, uh, even though they never met him. Yeah. And I'm really glad we, did, we had a chance to do that. So um, anyway, so cancer on from him, and then my mom also died of cancer um, when she was 82. So that was just uh, five years ago, and that was an interesting experience because in the Mormon Church, you know, we believe that you can be married to live together for all eternity, not just till death do you part. Yeah. And so, um, his mom was getting older. Her concerns were that she was going to get too old and couldn't take take care of herself. And uh, and she was, but she was also excited, truly excited about the possibility that within a few years I'll be with your, your dad again. And uh, so there's a, there's a thirty year yeah. 
so I, you know, I, I've known people who wanted to die, but yeah. almost always they were just miserable. Yeah. You know, but in this case, my mom was healthy, but she didn't want to live too long so that she couldn't take care of herself. <laughs> and so she, uh, you know, she had a, a pain inside, and her doctor diagnosed it as what did I just say? Pan okay. pancreatic, pancreatic cancer. cancer. Yeah. Which once once you observe the symptom, you're done. Yeah. And so um, that meant that she was going to, at most, live for another six or seven weeks. And when she got that disease, she just said, <laughs> <laughs> "She was so excited." Yeah. <laughs> and she had led a great life. Yeah. And a great family, and it, it's it done a lot of good for a lot of people. And now I can see your dad. 